find the perimeter and the area of the shaded shape. So what we've got to do in the first case is find the perimeter. So we've got to find this will arc length and then add to it this length plus this length, which is the radii of the circle. So the arc length is 2 pi r, which is the circumference of the circle, and you want a fraction of that. So it's going to be the angle, which we call theta, over 360 degrees. So that, that's a fraction. So theta in this case is going to be 60 degrees. So arc length is going to be 60 divided by 360 times 2 pi times the radius, which is 5 centimeters. So just you make sure you use the fraction button on your calculator. So 60 over 360, 60 is the fraction button times 2 pi times 5, gives an exact answer of 5 pi over 3. If you want the decimal equivalent, you just press the S to D button on your calculator, and then you'll get 5.235. The 5 will make the 3 a 4. So it's 5.24. So the perimeter will be the arc length plus 5 plus 5. These are radii of the circles. This length is also 5. So you need to add 5 plus 5, which gives you 15.2 centimeters to three significant figures. In the second part, we're asked to find the area of the shaded region, which is called an area of a sector. So the area of a sector, so the area of a circle is pi r squared, you want a fraction of it, the fraction is going to be the angle out of 360 degrees. So that's going to be, in this case, 60 divided by 360 times pi times r squared, which is going to be 5 squared. Again, use the fraction button on your calculator, write it exactly as it is. So you're going to get 63, 60 times pi times 5 squared. Don't forget to square the 5. It gives an exact answer, 25 pi over 6. And then the decimal equivalent you get by pressing S to D, which is 13.089. And then that 8 will make that 0 or 1. So the final answer will be 13.1 centimeters squared to 3 centimeter figures. So it's been a video to show you how to do uh, arc length and the area of a sector. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.